When was the last time that you actually used the busier tool in Pizzler? Right, so was it difficult or it was easy to use? So Bezier tool in Pizzle Lab is by far one of the most important tools in Pizzle Lab and very very much you know needed as a graphic designer for that matter those of you using the Pizzle Lab just like me. But it's sometimes you know hard to use it and you actually have to you know give it your time to study before you start using it the right way. Good. So today we are going to talk about this Bezier tool in Pizzle Lab and yeah it's going to be more interactive so i want you to join me in the comment section and let's get this underway so you and i we are going to walk through how to use the bezier tool and fizzle up right so without further ado let's jump into it so i'm going to actually clear up this uh, flyer i was working on uh, so i'll go to default page and here yeah. i'm equally going to change the background color to let's say red yeah red won't be bad good so right now let's come back to the bezier tool that's our focus for this video and i'm actually recording this video in a portrait form so that you get to you know see everything that i'm doing just take a close look at whatever i'm going to do right so this is the bezier tool and before we even go ahead to start implementing the, the use of it and stuff let's just you know understand the whole tool in general before we do any other thing else right so first off let's check the tools available over here at the bottom so yeah i'm just going to scroll through this and i'll later on explain everything over here to you okay so these are the options available when you activate the bezier tool right so let's start from the very first option over here so i'm going to tap on a plus sign and you're going to see what will pop up on my screen right now so when i tap on a plus sign it means i'm duplicating my work right whatever shape that i've actually made let's assume i added another anchor point okay the white white dots are what i'm calling the anchor point so let's assume i added another anchor point like this and i tap on a plus sign this particular shape i created right now will duplicate like this right so i hope you can see what just happened right so let's say i want to move back to uh right now we have like three lines over here we have this uh sorry i think let me use the move tool to you you know we have this and we also have this and we also have this now what i just did to highlight this different element was that i used this tool i think what is it let me show you something good so i use this arrow over here okay because we have like three lines on our working space right now and currently the highlighter is on the first one because you can see one over here right so if i move Okay, if i tap here you can see now we have two over here meaning anything that i do will happen to the second one so if i tap on the plus sign right now the second line will duplicate so look at that right so it is obvious that this is being duplicated rather the initial line we inserted all right it's obvious that that is the one duplicate and that's pretty cool right that's pretty cool now what i also want you to take note of is that is the fact that when you tap on these two arrows meaning you are moving the selection from one shape or one bezier to outline to another i think the, our working space is kind of classy at the moment so i'm just going to clear up everything then probably we start from uh, the scratch again right so um going to cancel everything then we pick it up like this so now our working space is clear now we can go through everything you know peacefully but i hope you do follow this video carefully and you understand that's why i'm actually taking my time to do everything step by step for you to actually understand this tool and use it the right way whenever you are using it in your graphic design right so i believe we've actually talked about this already so let's use this particular tool like a clipboard right so it also duplicates whatever we have over here and let's see something good so this tool in particular 
duplicate the exact number that is being highlighted so i'm going to move this down here and let me go to the number two and move it up right so i'm going to number one and also move it up like this then come to number three again and move it up like this but i hope you can see exactly what i'm doing over here i explained this just a few minutes ago and you can just you know move back a little bit and yeah watch what i did good so what i'm going to do right now is to add an anchor shape to this one again and i'm going to duplicate it by tapping on this particular element over here not the plus sign over here the plus sign over here when i tap on it it will make a duplicate of this initial you know line inserted over here that's what you saw in the pre in in few minutes ago right in few minutes ago we saw that when you tap on a plus sign over here it will duplicate this thing instead so right now we want to duplicate this and we've also moved the highlighter to be on the third one so what we have to do right now is just tap on the clipboard icon over here and we have it duplicated over here right this is it this is it being duplicated over here i just added another anchor point by tapping on the screen so i hope you all can see that so that's the difference between the plus sign and the clipboard or the copy icon over here and i hope that is pretty much self-explanatory right based on what we've demonstrated over here i hope you all understand that good so what we have to do next i okay I want us to move forward so i want us to use the minus sign over here and what does it do so let's tap on it and see what it does meaning you can undo whatever you're doing let's say look at this this is it's on the third uh, this one element meaning when i tap on the minus sign it will take off this particular shape over here right not the shape but the line okay it will take it off so uh, i'll just tap on the minus sign and that's what just happened and i hope you guys actually understand up to this point now so that's basically about you know the tools at the top over here so right now let's just move a little bit down and talk about what we have over here now if you highlighted any of your you know bezier tool outline on the screen just like this okay and this first tool is highlighted it means whenever you tap on the screen an anchor point will be added so let's do that quickly you can see as i tap over here an anchor point is being added when i tap here an anchor point is being added so that is basically the function of this particular tool over here now let's move quickly to this one over here what does it do right so this is it when you tap on this particular one it will enable you to reshape your bezier tool like your bezier tool on your screen right so this can enable me curve it do whatever i want to do with it when i tap on each anchor point this particular guide or line will appear to enable me to shape the bezier tool outline on my screen the way i want it to be so i'm tapping on another one over here and it gave me it gave me two options right so basically this is the use of that particular tool right there okay and i hope you do understand this right now so now let's come back to this one and i believe earlier on you saw me using this but i don't know if you really understand me as i was using it but uh, let me just quickly go through with you so when you highlight this all right it will enable you to move the highlighted you know shape right so currently we have the second one being highlighted so when i tap on the screen and move my finger it will move with me just like this and when i move to the first one like this and move it will also move with me like this so these are some basic things you need to understand about the bezier tool before you even start using them right so um i think pretty much that will be for the bezier tool mode over here okay so now let's move down to the action right so for the actions i think um i'll add one anchor point okay to the two at the top i mean this particular one so i'm actually going to delete the second one right so i'm taking it off and i want to add one anchor point to this particular one so that i can show you something related to 
the actions over here right so we have the actions over here we have this first one followed by this this and this now let me just quickly walk you through this right so the plus one over here let's tap on it and see what's going to happen i believe in demonstration more than the talking right so let's see what just happened right you could see that or you could realize that i added an anchor point before tapping on this so the moment i tap on this the anchor point moved away all right so i'm going to add the anchor point again and demonstrate to you once again to see what just happened right so when i tap on this particular tool over here you will realize that this part of the anchor point will cut off that is because if you make made a mistake by adding some anchor point wrongly you can basically come to this option and you will take it off immediately so this is the use of two now i'm also going to add an, an anchor point back again because i want to demonstrate something with the second tool over here now let me just scroll down now if i scroll down you could see that we have stroke all right and we have opacity now this opacity is for the stroke okay but what if you want the entire you know bezier tool to cover this place and form a shape right so that's when you have to use this particular tool right after this one okay this particular tool over here this is what you have to use to join your outlines on your screen right so i'm just going to tap on it and you see what will happen on the screen right now so you can see now that what this part closed automatically and form a shape this shape can be like let's say i'm just saying something be like a bell right if they, they put something in the middle over here we can call it a bell shape right so that is basically it now after we've made this shape to close this is what you just see you can see that we have opacity which is currently zero because when you increase opacity the inside of the shape will fill all right so i just wanted to you know know the essence of this particular tool over here uh yeah this one over here all right you can see that two were actually four when we enabled it that's when it became what five over here right so if you want the, the shape to get filled you, you increase the opacity over here and yeah you can literally change the color to whatever color at all you want so this is it and i hope that was helpful and yeah if you don't want the stroke to be showing you can actually make it zero but then we'll come back to the stroke let me actually finish talking about the tools over here right so now that we've made this thing like this to form a shape what can we do again now let's see when we tap on this what will happen again so let's do that quickly you can see what just happened was that another anchor point was just added over here right and what we can do is to actually you know shape it if you want to shape it we can come back to this tool at the middle over here by tapping on it then yeah we reform our shape this way okay so that's one essence of the tool over there now when we come back to this tool that pop up after tapping on the merge tool let's see what it does right so let's tap on it and yeah it clear off everything right it cleared off everything that's just it okay so basically that is the use of this particular tool over here it clears off everything literally everything right literally everything that you do it clears off everything so i think we have to come back to the opacity and refill it again so it takes off the opacity this particular tool takes off the opacity okay when you enable it it takes off the opacity so we just have to you know refill the opacity back again that's if you want the opacity right so i think that would be it for these three tools over here and this one of course will help you to increase the size of your drawing okay when i say your drawing i mean the test outline on your working space so what i'm going to do right now is to actually increase the opacity back again and we are going to tap on this and see the use of it so when you tap on this increase it it increases and decreases the size of your shape or the outline on your screen right so once you are okay with it just tap on a check mark over here and yeah you are good to go so i'm just going to do that and this is the size i'll be having right now and of course the last button over here is for rotation right so when you tap on it you can use it to rotate you know the shape or whatever element 
you are inserting you can use it to rotate it easily and i hope this is pretty much cool right so once you are okay with it you can just tap on a check mark over here as well and you are good to go so that's it that will be it for now let's move down and see what we can talk about now the stroke i actually talk about it earlier on so that is it you can actually change the color of the stroke and also reduce the opacity of it so let's say you want to change the color to let's say something like white yeah you can change it and reduce the opacity as well so i think that's going to be all for this yeah i think the video is getting lengthy and other ones that probably i'll make a second part of the tutorial to explain to you how to use the uh, the bezier tool to come up with re uh, really good stuff in Pizzle Lab because this tutorial i don't want it to keep long for that matter i'll make the second part of it and i hope you do enjoy this video if you do don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe if you are new to this channel because on this channel i teach basically how to use your smartphone to come up with stunning stuff right so you just kind of be creative with your smartphone and this is Goswe here from Seren Arts and i hope to see you in my next video Let's go.